We got a little bit of equipment here. I think it's enough for a competition. It's the 27th of July now. It's like round about 6 p.m. And as you can see, we arrived in Fuerteventura and it's windy actually. I'm really excited because in a couple of days um, there will be the World Cup and it's my first time. So I will give you a couple of insights from the competition and um, the training. So we packed the van now and we are gonna head south of the island because there's the main surfing spot. So yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. So it's the uh, 28th of July and we just woke up and as you can see we prepared uh, my gear for the week and today because today looks actually promising from the wind conditions. I checked the forecast and it looks a bit light but I hope for stronger wind. Regarding my gear I have four sails, a sail range between 3.3 and 4.4. Um, it's all freak from Zvern. Then I have one boom, it's uh, Enigma also from Zvern with 26 inch harness lines. Then I have two masts, um, a 340 RDM blue and a 370 RDM red. Then we have my toys, my two boards from Starboard, also freestyle category, so it's Ignite. And the smallest one they, they're producing is the 78 liters. And then I have also 87 liters if the wind is getting lighter. And that's my gear. And I think we're gonna head to breakfast now, so. See you later. So it's uh, 11 o'clock now, around about 11, and we got our bracelets for the World Cup. We already asked for stickers and they gave us for, at first, the Fuerteventura. So what are we gonna do now is to stick them on my four sails, like here. Afterwards, we're gonna put on the footstraps of the Ignites. I also prepared my gear in a tent, which you can see here. And it was really difficult to set up your storage when there's only limited space available within having like everywhere small stones and sand. So you really need to use this space efficient. It was kind of a strategy which all the guys and girls are using there in the tent. So it was really interesting to see how it works in a professional area. So my first two sessions are completed. Uh, the first session was really strong and I was very overpowered with 3.6 and 78 liters because it always looks a bit less wind than it is. And the second session was really good because I took 3.3, free free, also Freak and 78 liters. And that was pretty good. So. Yeah, let's see how it goes the next training days. The wind looks promising, so see you tomorrow. It's the 29th of July and we're at the beach. So I'm standing right here in the freestyle competition area, which is located here. And over there is the slalom event taking place right now and also the two tents which are for registration on the 1st of August and for the whole partying. And here you can see the spectators who will, will be watching and also the judges which will be located there. So this is the competition area and also if you look at the top of this mountain next to the hotel and um, this is the freestyle storage where I can put my gear in which I will show you later. And um, regarding the spot, you have here an area which can be, depending on high and low tide, can be filled with water so that you have a flat water lagoon where you can do some nice um, freestyle moves. And if you want to have like more waves and stuff, you can just go here to the regular spot where the shore break is coming in with side offshore wind. That's the spot and um, I will go surfing now because the wind is picking up. So I'll see you up there.
So today is the 31st of July, it's the last day before the World Cup starts. And the last couple of days I was just training, getting used to the conditions and to my new board. So yeah, I went for a couple of sessions. It was really strong and gusty and also the waves were always coming in and the chops are really hard. But um, it, it's a bit easier for me because the strong wind I'm used from Kapatas. But still, it's really hot here. And the first couple of sessions I had uh, many spin outs because my back strap was um, too far in the back so I put it to the front and then it was better so that's good and tomorrow it will start with the registration the first day of freestyle here in Fuerteventura red flag is already up and we are going straight in it's the first of August today and I already went to this registration as you can already see here I got this lycra and also a bottle and a t-shirt and it was so nice to see all the professional guy and girls and yeah it was just an awesome feeling. Let's see how the competition goes. I think my turn will be around 5 p.m. because the guys are already starting with the single elimination and afterwards the women are going for a heat but it looks really really strong so I'm a bit nervous. Uh, my heat, first heat in the PWA World Cup is against Arakita, so I will just have fun and try to land some, some moves and just show what I can. Um, next up we've got, well that's a new name for me, the Austrian? Uh, Bijou. 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 How do you say her second name? Uh, I, I'm not going to attempt it. Shamirian. Shamirian? Bijou. Yeah. Well, she is Beiju from now on. <laughs> that's a first name, I'm guessing, or yeah, a nickname. Yeah, that's her first name. Okay, yeah. not a nickname. <laughs> not some weird she's nickname a, she doesn't want to be called. She's been training in Carpatos a lot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so she's uh, used I think to the she's wind. she's used to the strong conditions, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, good to see. But she's got a, she's got a tough one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarah Keita Offringa in your first PWA competition. That's what happens. That's the problem. When it is your first PWA competition, you do end up going against the top seeds um, and it's it is tricky it's tricky Sarah Keita offering <laughs> and a nice statement. Vulcan there for Beijou from oh. Austria that will count I think she had it under control she has been what 13 times freestyle world champion some might say unlucky number 13 but um, doesn't look that way Beijou is really going for it though yeah that's really good to see it's difficult like I say Beijou in her first ever Peter A freestyle heat and you're going against Sarah Keita off Ringer. But what's she got on this inside? Spark. Nice. Oh. Oh. Still sails away from it. Beijou just going down on the Spock. Like I say, Fertiventura is probably one of the most difficult spots in the world when it's this windy. Just doesn't quite get it. 30 seconds left. There you go. Oh, Sarah Keita not going around yeah. the spot. That just, you know, says it all. Today is the 2nd of August and it's already evening because today um, there was not that much wind. So the skipper's meeting was planned at 11 o'clock, but it always was rescheduled until 5 p.m or 6 p.m. and then the women's finals uh, were taking place. So SQ took the win. And yeah, tomorrow probably man finals and then double elimination. Today is the 4th of August and I will say my second PWA heat today, uh, which is against Ariana, which is also really, really tough for me, but I will try my best. And yesterday the men were all only doing the Double elimination. I had time to sail a bit in the lagoon and also in a normal spot. Some did some training and yeah, today I will just try my best and see how it goes. Uh, Beijou. Semi-final. Yeah, Beijou. Only 15 yeah. years old, Beijou. So really young, born over in Australia. Really? But uh, Austrian. Yeah, born in Melbourne, Australia, Beijou. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Here we go.
15 years old. So plenty of uh, time to get it. First experience of PWA competition. Just ducking it through. Beju sailing for Austria. Like I said, Austrian dad, I think German mom, born in Melbourne. So she's got Sport a fair outside. few passports. Interesting. <laughs> Here we go, Beju. Three minutes 20 on the clock. She got going for the spark. Oh, unlucky. Beju, plenty of power as she heads out. Starboard Dream Team member. Sponsoring quite a few of these young up and coming talents. Wow. Oh, that's a nasty one. That is the problem yeah. with Switch on the way out here. We saw it with the guys yesterday. It is nasty. Yeah, but now it's look uh, quite flat. So yeah, maybe slides is a as we saw for some guys is your idea of flat is yeah. not my idea of flat. I won't lie. <laughs> my idea of flat is my local beach Martignal. It's like mirror. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I like to do the, the slide moves as well and uh, the conditions we saw oh, the, nice. last, the last two days was uh, almost impossible. That was just the, yeah. the start of it actually, saw the outside. So there we go. The heat. It looks like it is going to be Ariane Alcas that qualifies through the next round. Beiju will get plenty more chance in this, only 15 years old. So that's her first experience of PWA competition. And that's going to fire her up to come back bigger, better, stronger yeah. next year. I'm sure we're going to be seeing her uh, plenty more times. Like I say, difficult conditions here in Furta. Today is the 5th of August, it was the last day of competition. Well, it was not really a competition because we already finished all the heats yesterday. But we made like an expression session it's called, uh, which is just a fun session with all the sailors um, on the water, just having fun and making like really, really cool moves. So it was really, really fun today. And yeah, it's the uh, Last day, so we're already packing up as you can see in the background. I don't know, I can also show you the terrace. We already, yeah, cleaned everything up. And yeah, this is the last day, last view from the beautiful background. And then for one week, it's going back to Munich and then again to Karpatos. So I'm really excited to train a bit. It's the 6th of August, it's the last day on Fuerteventura and we're nearly at the airport and also the van is packed, <laughs> full of gear. My first World Cup is over now. The beginning was really, really tough, but it was really, really exciting. So I had a lot of fun with the girls and just riding with all the professional riders. I, I learned a lot, I would say, <laughs> with all the gear setting up and just sailing heats for the first time was really, really interesting. And I could show some really nice moves, although there's so much to improve. And I would say Fuerteventura is a really, really hard spot, especially for sliding moves, which I'm doing most of the time. So I need to improve a lot. But um, yeah, I ended up with seventh place out of eight, which is really, really good for me. I just wanted to show some moves and that's what I did. So I hope I will see more girls in the future. I can only say it's a very good experience and it helps you to push you more. And I think when I next week head to Capitals, I will be fully motivated to push harder and more so that I can land my few tricks here in Puerto next year. And I would say, I hope I could give you some interesting insights of this week. And I hope you enjoyed my first time vlogging. And yeah, feel free to give me some feedback in the comments. And I would say, see you on the water soon. Can't remember where we parked the old car. It's white, I know that. I hope I could give you some interesting weeks. What the f***, Alter?